once you're flexible, you're willing to listen, <laughs> not just to someone's talk, but you're willing to listen to life. Which is the most important thing in human life, that we have to learn to listen to life. It is not about listening to other human beings, that is also important for social reasons, but it is very, very important that you listen to the process of life both within you and around you. This is where life is. Listening does not necessarily mean hearing something, that you're observant of everything that happens within you and around you. What happens in the system, how you breathe, how your body operates, how your thoughts operate, how your emotions operate, and how the life around you is happening, how the air is behaving, how the different elements are behaving within you and around you, and above all, how the celestial objects are behaving today, what face of moon is it? You should simply know, if you close your eyes, you should know. You should not <laughs> consult Google for what face of the moon it is right now. So, if you listen to life like this, you will see wisdom is not something that you have to strive for, it will rain upon you. It's very, very important that this world, this humanity, <laughs> needs to mature into a certain level of wisdom because right now there is too much upstartism, everybody is on, they don't know for what reasons. And this type of upstart action will uh, essentially bring only conflict. People may think they are doing something good, people may think they are very righteous about something, but all it will bring is conflict. And conflict is not an answer to anything. Usually conflict is elimination of life. Conflict is not a solution. Conflict is about obliterating life in some way and thinking that there has been a solution. So, if you want a conflict-free life, the most important thing is you learn to listen to life because wisdom is needed. Otherwise, there are uh, <laughs> too many people in the world who have a certain level of insufficiency up here, because of that, human activity has become counterproductive. We have become our own enemies, we don't need any outside enemies. Though we've been imagining our movie makers are telling us aliens are going to come and kill us, nobody came, <laughs> they are not interested in us. But we are doing great by ourselves in terms of destroying our own habitat, in terms of destroying the very source of our life, uh, we are on self-help, we don't seem to need any help. So the most important thing is that you are able to listen to life, and this ability to listen to life will only arise within you. When you're flexible in the level of your body, your mind, your emotions, and your energy levels, if you create substantial flexibility, then you will see listening will be a natural quality within you. One important dimension of yoga is all about this, to bring this flexibility into your life.